What's up, everybody? This is Jose from Southern Life. We're in Seacrest, Florida. And this guy's been pretending to walk his dog to keep an eye on us for us. Yeah, he's scoping us out. He's scoping out. us out. We're, uh, we had to stop take a break. It's, it's hard being on the road all day like this in one of these videos. Mm -hmm. But this guy uh, pretended to be doing dog stuff just to keep an eye on us. Yeah. <laughs> the rich people are hilarious. Yeah. It's okay, we're, we're outsiders. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. We're in the 850, I'm pretty sure. This is gorgeous out here. This is uh, wow. Seacrest, Florida. Just a nice little place between uh, Rosemary Beach, just to the west. Gorgeous little beach town. They've incorporated really well this tree into my hood, if I'm not paying attention. <laughs> It really incorporated a lot. Um, it's got like a beachy forest vibe. Yeah, like a beach forest. That's, that's a good way to describe it. You can barely see the houses. They're just kind of nestled between the trees. Giving each house enough privacy, even though the lots are not exactly all that large. But the trees really, they, they've done a great job at incorporating uh, these houses into the natural setting. That's what happens when you have good architects designing stuff. The people who built that is from Alabama. Oh yeah, you can tell that these are <laughs> for sale by owner. How much? Eight hundred thousand. Yeah. Oh, I can see it. I mean, you're close to the beach. Um, I can see it. Yeah. Sure enough, it's a nice neighborhood. I'm just surprised. interesting that it's a yeah. for sale by owner. You know, for sale by owner is becoming more of a thing nowadays. Yeah. People have really cut the metal man out. It's actually not that bad. This is like a beach area. Usually it's like a million out. So it's not too bad if it's a Yeah, under. I mean, to be in a beach area at 800000 it's not bad. You know, it's not bad at all. I love how they cut out the, the metal man. They're just like, forget. Yeah. You know, I think eventually there's going to be a... I, don't, I can't believe it hasn't happened yet. Yeah. You know what I, what I can't believe hasn't happened yet? Mm -hmm. so you're watching this video. And you're one of my... I'm sure it exists already. Yeah. But not on a big scale. On Sea Breeze Court, it needs to happen on a bigger scale, like a for sale by owner real estate website. There is what Zillow. Help no. you sell. What is it? Help you sell. These people are unreal. It's like you do the showings yourself, but and see, they just see, put it on a website. These, I, uh, no. Yeah, welcome no to a beach town. Yeah, no yeah. Laws welcome apply. to a vacation no beach town. No laws apply to that guy. He just does whatever he wants. Mm -hmm. And those are the ones that, when they, that crash into you and then they get mad because you hit them. Yeah. Laws don't apply to him. You know, if you're on a bicycle, all the road laws apply to you. Stop signs apply to you. Yeah. I don't know if you knew that. If you ride a bicycle, all laws apply to you. So now we're on Seacrest, but we're heading west. So yeah. we're going to go through a different... Uh, different uh, geographical locations with different names right now we're in Seacrest and I'm sure look at this this looks like a pirate yeah, it's cottage look at all those houses over there oh that's and neat the sand dunes over there and they're all different styles yeah that is awesome yeah a lot this area is I would invest here way before Southwest Florida oh yeah first they're not going to have other than the oil spills <laughs> No, 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 let me not say that. <laughs> I was going to say, they don't have like a lot. Uh, okay. We haven't ruined this yet. No, it's gorgeous here. Very susceptible to hurricanes. Yeah. You know, a hurricane could come through here and just annihilate this place. But it's amazingly gorgeous. <laughs> wow. No, this is something else out here. Yeah. This is prettier than Captiva, than Sanibel. Oh, yeah. It's more practical. Boca Grande. Yeah, it is. You, you drive, you got to drive an hour to get to freaking Sanibel. To or like, Captiva. To like mosquito infested swamps. The drive here is gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely superior. Yeah. I went out to Captiva with my mom and went to the bubble room. I thought I, I could have, I is felt like I could have gone to Orlando. Is this the guy from earlier? Maybe. This is the guy we almost hit earlier. We got to see the. I think this is. There's a, a sidewalk on the other side, by the way. It might a be a bike path. A bike path. Is it a bike path? Yeah. There's a bike path. I can't pass him because he's not paying attention. Mm -hmm. He's not paying any attention at all. I can't pass him until we get into the open road. 
Yep, that's that's Beach Towns for you. Mm -hmm. That's Beach Towns for you. Can't pass them as a car coming. Let me see if I can make this squeeze through here. It's a real tight squeeze. I think that's the same guy from earlier. We'll have to look at the other video. Yeah. <clears throat> that guy's just ir arrogant. I mean, you have a sidewalk. Dude. Is it a bike path? Yeah. It's a bike path. Yeah, it's a bike path. There is a bike path. Yeah, look, there's yeah, people there's a bike on path. the bike path. Yeah, yeah, it is a bike path. There's a bike path, but he's too good for that. Yeah. I think that's the guy that we almost ran over late earlier where yeah. he kind of popped up behind a car. Like, they're too good for the bike path. Hey, the speed limit's 35, right? We have to be yeah. careful going way faster than that. And wasn't there a cop on the way over here last time? We gotta slow it down. It's a, it's, a, it's a complete bike path, but he's too good for that. Yeah. This area is gorgeous. Yeah. But just like in Florida, like the type of people wow. you get in these places, the type of uh, people you get in these places, you know, big city snobs. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know what, there's gotta be, we have to coin a new phrase for these people. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna coin a new phrase for these people. Because now we can't even say yuppies because we're yuppies now. Yeah. <laughs> we're now yuppies. We live We've done so well now. with ourselves that we're yuppies now. Mm -hmm. I'm not even gonna deny it. We really do for the uh, definition. Yeah. We're YouTubers for one. Yeah. What, and what do you do for? Oh, I'm a YouTuber. Yeah, you're a freaking yuppie. I gotta dress better before I feel like a yuppie. No, we're yuppies. Yeah. Read the definition. Go to Google. Google. Uh, watch. Read Google. You'll see we are yuppies. It like practically describes us. It practically this. I read the definition of a yuppie and I was like, oh my. It's talking about me. A young person with a well-paid job and fashionable lifestyle. <laughs> we do have a fashionable lifestyle. Yeah. We're YouTubers. <laughs> if that's not a fashionable lifestyle, what is? What does it say? A young, well-paid, what's it say? Young person with a well-paid job and fashionable lifestyle. We're, yeah, our YouTube is now well-paid. Our okay. lifestyle is fashionable. Yeah, okay, how about this? Now we're well paid. We weren't well paid like six months ago. No. We are well paid now. Yeah. So yeah, because I mean, practically you're getting paid to travel, so that is well paid. Like what you put in versus what you get out, it is well paid. So yeah, we're we're yuppies. There's no question about it. Young, well paid, fashionable lifestyle. Yeah. You don't get to choose these things. No. We didn't choose the yuppie lifestyle. The it yuppie lifestyle us. made us. It all shows us. It made us. Yeah. It's not like we had a choice here. It pretty no, much. It just kind of happened overnight. It kind of happened to us, yeah. Yeah. And we woke up one day and, and YouTube was paying us more. Like, oh, hey, oh fuck, wow. Yeah, we're yuppies now. I'm a yuppie. <laughs> well. I'm looking up yuppies. So we can't refer to these people as yuppies. No. And by the way, we're that's. We're not urban, though. We're well, not. Fashionable. Fashionable can be anything. Fashionable. You could be a fashionable hill. A fashionable hillbilly could be a, a still fashionable. Oh yeah. In some parts. There's got to be a new there term. Yuppie is just too broad. We're in it now. We can't really. We need to come that, up that's, with but a that's new not term. a yuppie. Driving a bicycle on the middle of the road is not fashionable. That's actually like. Yuppie sounds like youper to me, and. Youper. Uh, youper. Yeah. There has to be another term. We can make our own term. We need to, because yuppie, like, makes me want to throw up. Yeah. We will come up with a term for these people. We'll make, we're coin our own term and start hashtagging. Why don't we just name ourselves? What do you feel like saying to them when you see them? I know a Cuban way to refer to them, but we, we got to keep it PG-13 on here. <laughs> I definitely know a Cuban phrase that could definitely... The M-word? Call me... Oh, yeah. You call me yuppie. Call me yuppie. Call me yup. I'm not Spanish. I, I, call me. We are Cuban American couple, but I want to. I don't know. We'll find the right term. We'll find. The right term. We'll, we'll, we'll coin a term for these people.
I want a term for myself that's separate from these people. Yeah, we cannot fall in the same category as these people. Yeah. <laughs> First of all, wearing a, what do they call those? Like, what are the, the tight pants called? Leggings? A guy should not wear leggings. I don't care how cool. They have palm trees on their freaking roof on a third story. That's cool. That's balling right there, man. Even though they got bed bugs. <laughs> the bed bug, no, it's not a bed bug. It's just like a... <clears throat> Remember, like, the house in, uh, the giant house in Bonita Beach that had a bed, a tarp, bed bug tarp on it? Yeah. And that's how, like, you know, when they, they got their stuff from the Goodwill. Mm -hmm. No, I think it was a vacation room. We will coin a term. Yeah. Week. We do. Is that a cat? That lowers your property by that. Let's let them pass. See, these are yuppies. Yeah. Definitely yuppies. No doubt about it. It's just like us. I can't believe we're grouped in with these people. <laughs> um, we are, though. Because when you look at the definition of it, yeah. young, well-paid... Can we be excluded because we're obese? It doesn't mention weight. Fashionable lifestyle. We are definitely fashionable. I say no, we're not fashionable because we don't like follow... We, we create trends. We're, we're not just being yuppies. We're like the father of yuppies in a sense. Yeah. We're just kind of like... We're premier yuppies. It, we can't even deny that that's us. It's mm. kind of obese for being yuppies. We're guppies. <laughs> We're guppies. <Gulp. laughs> I'll go with that. I'd We're rather guppies. go with guppies than yuppies. You know, because guppies are always pregnant, right? They're always fat. Yeah. <laughs> you know guppies are always pregnant. So. so we're guppies. Yeah. Guppies. Like fat yug. We're guppies. Like, that's guppies. like a, like a, oh, this is pretty too here. We're like obese guppies is a guppy. But that's for us. Yeah. We're not yuppies. We're guppies. We're fatter. Yeah, I can't, I can't be, I can't, even if I lost a bunch of weight, I can't be paired in And guppies are always in the water. And we're always in the water. We're from Florida, so that kind of makes sense all the way around. We're guppies. Like we're fat. Unless guppy means something totally different. What's slang for guppy? There might be like, oh, that might, oh. Be, that might be taken. I'm like, we'll meet somebody like, oh, we're guppies. I'm like, oh, you're into that? Oh, me too. Like, no. <laughs> Make sure there's not already taken. That might be taken already. Um, that slang word might be taken already. What's guppy a slang for? That might be taken already. That sounds like it might be taken. Like, we might go to prison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't want that. We don't want that. What is the definition? What is a guppy? Uh, that might be taken. Already gay person <laughs> living yeah. in a major urban area it's, oh no oh no I figured let, let me look into that before we label oh, is that what it says yeah oh no 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 <laughs> no I don't want to be labeled it. I, know, I almost guessed it too I was like it doesn't sound right hold on y'all yeah I like, can't be late I can't uh, a high earning <laughs> gay person in a in an urban area we're not gay. We're not gay. We're not high earning. We're not living. Our, yeah. Yeah, I figured. I was like, that doesn't sound right. Let me verify. Oh, look what the, what's this guy doing? There's not enough space there. What are you? And what is he trying to do? He's trying to get in there, but, but there's he, no space. This... I got a car right behind me. Like, it's not possible. He's gonna hit that car. What state is he from? North Carolina. Yeah. Wow. It's not possible. I mean, I'm trying to help you, buddy, but I don't think it's possible. Like, everybody has to move for, for you? For him, yeah. Like, what? No, these people are unreal. Unreal. And he's mad. He's complaining. Yeah. I let him pass, and he's angry. He's giving us an attitude, and we let him pass. North Carolina? Yep. Mm-mm-mm. We're going to have to find out what North Carolina is about. Yeah. I hope any of that... That's that. That's a definitely like coastal North Carolina. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Where are we now? Can you can you Google Map where we're at? I think we're over, yes, we're finally here. So this will be a different video. We're in um Seaside. Wow, this place is packed. Seaside. This will be a different video. So I'm gonna let you guys go. This will be a Seaside video.